welcome back to Gear Break. This is part one of a multi-part series about the Ego Mower. Today we're talking about the positives about this mower and why we ultimately decided to keep it. Be sure to like and subscribe to let me know to keep this going. It really helps out the channel. Okay, a bit of a backstory. So we have bought this mower about three months ago to maintain part of a three-quarter acre front yard. This video is specifically about what I like about the mower. First, no gas and oil. For many users, this may be a big plus and the reason why they would even buy it. Keeping the blade sharp and keeping the mower clean is all you really have to do. Next up is the battery. My biggest concern about going electric was having to wait for the battery to charge. It takes 60 minutes of charge time to get up to 60 minutes of run time. It's amazing that you can get up and running so quickly. Pop the battery in and go. If you wanted to add to your runtime, you can just get an additional battery and you can continually mow by alternating the batteries. Another big plus is that this mower is very quiet. If you're at the other end of a half acre field, I can't even hear it. Listen how quiet it is as he moves forward. I also really like the self-propel system on this mower. There is a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get used to it, it works great. Note that there is a delay or a soft start to the self-propel. It works like a champ getting up our steep section of our field. Also, I use it to get started from a dead stop. Another great feature of this mower is that it's lightweight. Its plastic body makes for a lightweight mower. It's a night and day difference between our Honda powered mower with a steel deck. 30 plus pounds difference is huge. It's hard to describe how easy it is to push this mower around. You have to experience it to understand it. My wife and 13 year old prefer this electric mower over the Honda powered gas mower simply because it is a lot easier to push around. Here's my 13 year old son setting it up and getting it ready to put it away. And that's it for part one. So those were the big reasons why we like this mower. Overall, we really like it. Please like and subscribe. Leave a message below if you have any questions or comments. There's a lot more to cover on this mower, including some negatives, and I also have some tips. Thanks for watching Gear Break, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.